Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 16th, 2022. Well, yesterday delivered us another whipsaw day. We, um, the Dow actually traveled more than 600 points from the high to the low, leaving us a little bit of uncertainty again. And, however, no technical damage in the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, top of the morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, let's take a look here. Um, we continue to struggle a bit with this price resistance in the chart. As a matter of fact, if you'll look right in here, our high print um, on, uh, let's see, high print on um, Monday was, just a second, I'm looking here, um, 339.87. 339.87. Yesterday's high print was 340.12. So within a few ticks, we pushed through and we retested this resistance level in the chart. And then it just kind of stalled. Um, we didn't really get anything done after that. Then, of course, the geopolitical concerns that came in in the afternoon whipsawed the market pretty substantially. But we rallied back up at the end of the day, leaving behind, well, just another day in a very wide range, a dangerous range of consolidation. Considering, you know, there's a lot of risk here in the market, considering that candle there covering more than 600 points, this is a very wide range. And that choppy zone here um, makes for some dangerous uh, trading. What comes next? Well, let's take a look. If we if we find some inspiration on the bears, we might come back down in here and test some price support down in this area. If we find some inspiration for the bulls, well then I think we gotta look right up in here at this very significant level of price resistance and say, hey, we could certainly pop right back in there into that area, challenge that resistance area of the chart once again um if those bulls find inspiration for today um really no change to any of our technicals our technicals remain bullish here although we are extremely stretched out here in the dow um suggesting that a pullback could occur really at any time but watch that close now if we take a look at our spy very much the same situation here the spy ended up closing at you know just ticking up there in fact we closed almost exactly on last friday's high um, um trying to hang in there so here again we're kind of in this very wide ranging chop zone here in the chart with significant resistance above that we're struggling against in the chart um, so if we see those bulls find a reason for engagement, let's continue to think about that high up here um, that we uh, made yesterday to see if we can punch through that. And if those bears find inspiration, I think a test down in here um, would be pretty logical and possible uh, to see occur. Now, keeping in mind our trends in these charts are still quite steep now it's not so steep here in the spy and maybe we are really starting to show that possibility of a wide ranging chop zone coming back to this trend and honestly if we did something like that i would say that's pretty healthy um, a nice little rest after such a strong rally would be a healthy thing to see in the market if we take a look at our qqq Kind of the same thing is true here. We're pressing against resistance levels in the chart, trying to decide whether or not we can pop through there. If we have some inspiration on those bulls today, I would expect another test up here to see, excuse me, see whether or not we could punch through that um, area up there. If we cannot and those bears find inspiration, well then once again, kind of right back into here might be the place we go and we come down and we do a little choppy zone consolidation in here. Um, would be honestly a, a very healthy thing for the market to do 
if we could hold some price level and maybe settle down on some of this wild price volatility that we've seen here recently. Then if we take a look at our Russell OIWM, well, we tried again. We tried to pop through that resistance. We did make a new high yesterday, but that doggone resistance in there did its job and we ended up pushing back down on the day. That's a pretty substantial level of price resistance and it's got that little double whammy situation here of that downtrend as well. So as we look at this level in here, we'll wanna watch that area pretty closely for that possibility from a relatively strong extension here that we could see a little bit of profit taking, a little bit of pullback. Now, if those bulls find inspiration today, well, I would suggest probably another test of these highs up here um, would be the likely scenario. And if the bears find inspiration, well, maybe we pull back down into this area, find a little bit of price support um, in the chart right there. Uh, keeping in mind, our trend is somewhere out here, so it is entirely possible we could uh, drift around in this area again consolidating this big move in the market now if we were to take a look at our vix our vix has been i don't know really surprising to me um how we have just really um, kind of ignored a lot of the things in the market, like the Fed likely raising interest rates by another 50 basis points. Inflation is still a long ways from being cured. You know, those kind of things, we continue to ignore them. However, yesterday we had a pretty good whipsaw with that missile scare in, um, in um, Poland. Um, looks like that's turning out to be... Um, uh, you know just an accident so um, we may uh, avoid some of those concerns but of course the geopolitical contentions um, anytime there is a war just across your border you do have to worry um, about more accidents like that occurring now if we take a look in here I mentioned that we could test this resistance here in the chart with a bounce back up here in a little bit of fear and we did kind of do that yesterday we bounced up in there tested that resistance in the chart um, down here would be our price support so if we can find that bullish energy today I would expect that we continue to pull this back here in the VIX but if those bears find inspiration then we'll be looking for another test of that resistance up here in that chart keeping in mind we still have a downtrend here so that's a fairly strong level we're going to have to have something you know shake things up here on the bullish side to get those bears engaged to pop through that level up there so bulls are still in control and technically there's really nothing wrong with these charts um, other than maybe a little bit of overextension in the short term. If we take a look at our T2122, that displays that pretty good um, with T2122 still up here in the bearish reversal zone. Um, earlier in the day, we were popped all the way right back up here in that high point um, on that uh, PPI number that showed um, producer prices rose a little bit less uh, than was expected, but they still went up. And I don't, I'm not sure that's going to help the consumers out a lot because consumers are still feeling that stress. There was another report out yesterday that consumer debt um, um, is growing faster than in the last 15 years. Some record levels of credit card debt um, as the consumers continue to feel the pinch of this inflation. So watch that carefully up here. Um, remember, we can linger up here for a period of time, um, but there's never ever been a time in T2122 um, um, that this high point up here didn't eventually resolve in a little bit of profit taking or selling that move us back down in the chart. So, so we should be expecting it to occur about any time. So just be watchful for that. Um, if we take a look at our T2107, the percentage of stocks holding above their 200 day moving average improved yesterday, pushing up in that chart. Now we continue to stretch this out pretty significantly. Um, obviously this is a very, 
big change here in sentiment in the market where we've broken that downtrend. But one thing we will want to be paying attention to, there is a significant amount of price congestion up here in the chart. And again, this extension that we've seen in the market is really not a healthy extension just simply because we've gone so far so fast without any kind of real rest or pullback to find um, a level of support in there, which means we have that possibility. The danger of this is that possibility that we could whipsaw a huge point move back down to retest those support levels. So be careful chasing this extension. We're a little bit long in the tooth on this right now. Doesn't mean we can't continue to move up. Just I would be cautious not to overtrade and remember to take some profits in case that pullback does occur. Keeping in mind, we do have some price support in this chart as well. So if we pull back into here, it's going to be a probably a fairly big point move to do that. But if we pull back into here and hold, then I think that's bullish for the market. And um, we would see um, a more upside potential if that does hold. Now, our T2108. T2108 is also showing us that severe extension. If you guys remember here in August, we stretched all the way up here, which really puts us, uh, rarely do we push that much in the market. We've only had a couple of times in the last few years that we've actually been above that area. And what you can see here is we're stretching up toward that August area again, a little bit overextended here in um, the market. So we have to be expecting that possibility of a little bit of um, either a, a consolidation that relieves some of that upside pressure or a pullback that could be relatively painful pullback because of the large part point swings that we've been seeing here in the market. So just be prepared and watch carefully for that in case it does begin. It could happen at, I think, any time. Um, almost 75% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So you gotta give that up to the bulls, but you also have to just realize that this extension in the market sets up a very dangerous potential pullback. So just be ready. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 hasn't shifted yet. Notice we continue to push this up, suggesting that momentum, that bullish momentum of the market has faded. And we have certainly seen that with these big point whipsaws that really aren't changing um, that much here in the market. So that momentum is kind of dropping here. That bullish momentum is kind of dropped out. Now that could easily resume, or maybe we pick up on some bearish momentum as well with that uncertainty in that choppy zone. So just watch that carefully. Now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, well, it's gonna have a lot to say about what happens this morning and uh, through the day. First off, we're gonna get a retail sales number. Now, retail sales we know can move the market pretty substantially. And we have also heard from a lot of retailers saying October, October was pretty rough on the retail sales side. So as this number is revealed, we could expect some volatility. If it comes in better than expected, look for the market to show a real bullish response to that. If it comes in worse than expected, well, from this extended level that we are in the market, we could easily see a pretty substantial um, negative reaction to a bad number here um, as well. So watch that close. And then we're going to get import export prices. They've actually been pretty good for us this year. And that's been that, that dollar um, surge uh, to the upside has been helping on that import export um, number. But watch that closely with the dollar falling as sharply as it, ha as it has here recently. Um, well, that could maybe change. I kind of suspect the dollar situation has not been factored into this number, however. Then if we take a look, um, uh, industrial production is certainly one of those things that can move us substantially. Consensus is suggesting we see an improvement there. Still not the best of situation here. And industrial production has shown us that we have a weakening economy. Um, that'll be an interesting number. And again, could be market moving right after the market opens. We've got business inventories. We know inventories have been a little bit of a problem for us, but we heard from Walmart yesterday that their inventory sit with glut, that situation where they just get too much inventory, 
diminish just a little bit. So watch that closely. That's also going to be a little bit of a telltale um, sign here uh, moving forward. Um, housing market index, those housing prices are starting to pull back a little bit. We know that that's negative for the market. Uh, let's watch that closely. If we start to see those housing prices really fall back, that kind of um, shifts us back to that 20 or 2008 thinking when folks bought houses and then all of a sudden the value of the house was not worth as much as they paid for it and then they start turning the houses back to the bank that can really create that housing crisis situation i'm not suggesting that's going to be the case just watch for that in that housing number because those um, well we've seen builders and things like that struggling here with a little bit and being able to make those sales and lowering those housing prices um, we will want to keep in mind that we have a petroleum status number today petroleum status could be a big deal today we saw earlier this week OPEC once again cutting production if we start to see those uh, supplies diminishing in um, oil and gas well, then we can look for those oil prices to continue to go higher and those gas prices to continue to go higher. That is an inflationary number that we'll want to keep an eye on. If if demand um, destruction is occurring where consumers are so strained that they're not out spinning and going places buying gas, then perhaps those supplies increase and that would be bullish. Um, um, for the market and probably bearish for those oil sector stocks. So watch that carefully. Treasury International Capital later on the day, I wouldn't expect any price move around that so much, but we will want to pay attention to these Fed speakers. Um, those that spoke yesterday pretty much all said, hey, we're going to keep raising rates. Uh, might be a 50 basis point, but we're going to keep raising rates because we've got a long ways to go to fight this inflation. So let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar um, is com continuing to diminish um, in the number of earnings reports. We have um, around 30 companies today reporting. Now a, a large number of those are um, you know, uh, names that are not going to be market moving. They're very small cap type companies, but we do have some pretty good notables here. Some notables that have already posted this morning. We heard from Lowe's this morning. Lowe's beat on estimates, and then they came out and said, you know, their guidance forward is not so strong. So we got a little bit of a pop and drop maybe happening here in the pre market. Um, uh, on lows and then we heard from target and target disappointed this morning um whipsawing the other way and you know the thing is today well really the rest of this week in earnings we have a kind of a retail sales theme uh going on here so um watch that closely we're also going to hear from um um tj maxx today um, we're going to hear from um, Sonos today. We're going to hear from William Sonoma today on some of those retail uh, sales that, well, you know, um, might be a little bit strained due to um, the inflation and, and the pinch that those um, uh, consumers are feeling out there. Now this afternoon we have some reports that could certainly be market moving um, as well. We've got Cisco um, that will be reporting tomorrow. This has been in this nice little consolidating pattern in here. A little bit of a wide range but consolidating against a resistance as we head toward that number. And then we uh, probably the bigger number for today um, will be um, yet this afternoon and that's NVIDIA. And NVIDIA has been roaring up toward its downtrend here as you can see. Just rushing up toward its downtrend and price resistance heading into that earnings report. A lot of people trying to speculate that NVIDIA is going to report well. So watch that carefully and closely. Um, um, kind of a dangerous place to be chasing that into an earnings report. So just be careful. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. And oh my goodness, I'm running out of time. Um, 
if this is the first time you guys have seen these videos, if you could please do me that favor, click that subscribe button, click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And then also if you feel the video is worthy, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. Um, so let's take a look at a few of these charts that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful in these trades. You know, I keep watching this um, uh, dollar situation and we continue to see this dollar and currencies fluctuate around quite a bit here in the market. Now that's creating pressure on stocks like gold, um, silver. So I would say um, as long as we continue to see that dollar weaken, I would really keep a close eye on on these if you're in them congratulations if you're not i would wait for that next little resting pullback here on those to set up that opportunity in the trades and you can look at lots of commodities um, for the same kind of thing take a look at like um, u.s steel u.s steel has been making this nice rally into price resistance in the chart so wait for that next opportunity perhaps we consolidate here and pop out Perhaps we pull back, find a support, higher low support area and a trend and continue that move higher. But as long as that dollar continues to weaken, I would expect our commodity prices to continue to rise. You could look at Alcoa, whoops, not AAA, Alcoa also doing that same thing, pushing up here. Aluminum, there's that downtrend, but we've rallied sharply here. A little resting consolidation here would certainly set up a nice opportunity for the upside in Alcoa. And I got to tell you, you know, you just can't ignore these um, oil sector stocks. They just continue to run to the upside. Very, very strong moves in these stocks and, and across lots of names. They continue to just show lots of strength for upside moves. And if the dollar weakens, well, that just pushes oil prices higher. So keep a close eye on those. I think you could also jump over into um, exploration area. Take a look at XOP, the exploration ETF. Um, that's been pushing through and we may be heading up, as you can see, a nice bullish candle yesterday. We may be heading up to test some of these highs here in that exploration. And you can see it if you look at some of the stocks in that industry. We're getting a lot of those like Hess moving up, stretching to the upside, DK. Um, stretching up, moving to the upside. And you just look across so many of these and we have a lot of bullishness showing up in that exploration area here. So watch that closely. Um, looks like there could be some opportunities for that to continue to move higher. You might also want to keep an eye on some of the retailers out there that get good reports. Um, Walmart popping up big yesterday. I would wait now for a little rest or consolidation. It looks like Walmart's getting a, feeling a little bit of pain from the Target report this morning. So if we can consolidate and rest in here, um, watch for that next opportunity for the upside in some of these retail names. Keeping in mind that tomorrow we have another round of a bunch of retail names reporting that could be a lot of volatility in that. So because I'm running short on time, guys, I'm going to cut this short right here. Hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Keep in mind, we've got a lot of data coming our way. First thing here this morning, could see quite a little bit of volatility. I would not rule out the possibility that um, um, of another whipsaw, another overnight reversal situation here in the market. But we have all of these issues around the world that's maybe putting a little bit of a pause on things as well, where we've got European markets lower this morning because the UK just reported a new record high inflation rate. So um, some challenges out there that we're going to have to get through and face, um, not just here in the United States, but around the world. So be careful with this extension. Try not to over trade it. Be prepared for a pullback at any time. And I want to wish you all the very, very best in your trading results today. Have a great day.